Uh, it definitely sounds like a sexual innuendo. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 14th episode of the show Power Rangers Turbo as well as the 219th episode overall titled A Drive to Win. We begin this episode outside where there's a soccer game going on with Adam coaching and there's one individual named Carlos who is hitting all the balls into the net. Adam tells him to pass the ball to Barry next time, who is definitely the special need kid on this team. Carlos talks to Adam, and he says that he'll score every time if they just get the ball to him, and they have a big game tomorrow. But Adam explains that winning is great, but he needs them to be a part of a team. We see cheerleaders who are practicing a routine, and the head cheerleader is named Ashley, and she keeps telling everyone to keep it up, and they go again. Out of a water bucket, here comes that damn periscope. Underwater, Deep Talk celebrates because she believes that this is her lucky day, and she says they have a new goal in mind for this soccer game. At the soccer field, practice is still going on and Carlos steals the ball from Barry and Carlos starts arguing with Adam about how he's the best and he's doing teamwork by helping the team win. This dude's real dumb. At the youth center, Tanya and Kat are throwing Tommy around for practice and apparently Tommy says how he can't go to the soccer game tomorrow because he has to go to the racetrack. We get it, Tommy. Stop trying to make the race car driver thing happen. The monkeys hear about this and they decide they need to go to the soccer game to get people's attention. Tanya, Kat, and Tommy talk about how quiet things have been lately and how Deep Talk seems to have just given up. Tommy suggests from the ground that she's up to something big. Meanwhile, Deep Talk deploys the piranatrons. At the soccer field, practice is happening, but now it's in slow motion. Carlos hits the ball toward the goal and it's intercepted by a piranatron. They even show up around the cheerleaders who scream and scatter. Adam saves Barry and he starts taking on the piranatrons, but what's this? So are Carlos and Ashley. I mean, they're not great, but they're trying their best with what they got. Adam fends them off, and Carlos and Ashley run up, confused about what those things were, which is BS, because I feel like they would have been on the news before. Carlos is going to walk Ashley home. Adam contacts Alpha, and he says to have the others meet up with him at the power chamber, because he just got fished. On the sidewalk, Carlos and Ashley introduce themselves to each other, and they talk about how cool it is that they just fought those weird things. Ashley says she could have walked home alone, and Carlos says he needed an excuse to talk to her. Ooh. At the power chamber, all the rangers are together and they're confused as to why Deep Talks would even want to attack a soccer field. And Tommy offers to skip his race car thing, but they tell him that if they need him, they'll call him. Deep Talks is mad that nothing big happened with the Piranatrons and she says she needs a new monster. Introducing Electro Bolt. He's going to fry the rangers into nothingness. Deep Talks wants to plant a detonator at the soccer game tomorrow and the Electro Vault will actually occupy the rangers, so she says that Elgar would join him. At the game the next day, Stone Canyon's cheerleaders are yelling and everyone except for Tommy is there. And Justin shows that he brought the Turbo Navigator, just in case, because these kids are now obsessed with bombs. Carlos and the rest of the team are getting onto the field, and Ashley's giving him fuck me eyes. The periscope is there from a food stand, and a Piranatron plants a bomb in the scoreboard. Apparently the bomb will go off once Angel Grove scores four points. She thinks that since Carlos is such a hot shot, she'll have no doubt that Carlos will give them the four goals in no time. She sends out Electro Bolt and Elgar to handle the Rangers away from the field. The game has started and Carlos is already showing off, getting the first goal for Angel Grove. Just three more until kabloom. Then Stone Canyon gets their first point, then Angel Grove gets their second. This is a waste of my time. Stone Cannon gets another goal, I couldn't care less. On a quarry, Electro Volt gives himself and Elgar bikes to drive around in, I guess. Underwater, Deep Talks is watching the soccer game, cheering on Angel Grove. Everyone else is celebrating like they're watching the Super Bowl. This stuff is like the right amount of stupid. Then Angel Grove gets their third goal. Oh no. During a timeout, Carlos talks to Ashley and she explains how he doesn't know what teamwork is, which makes Carlos sad. They're back playing and Adam's communicator goes off and he tells the assistant coach to just take over, who literally just starts yelling the last sentence that Adam yelled about defense. Adam meets up with the others and they say they have to get to the quarry. Tommy will apparently meet them there. Shift in the turbo. The five rangers show up confronting Elgar and Electro Volt. Then Elgar and Electro Volt get on their bikes, hitting the rangers down onto the ground. And then they just start zapping them with electricity. Then they hit them again by crossing their bikes. I mean, this is a cool fight, I guess. Then the blue centurion shows up, but he's not much help because he gets blasted too. The rangers just spin around a lot, and then Adam just keeps spinning, saying how green guys can dance. Definitely a comedy thing left over from the Sentai that definitely should have been cut. Anyways, then Adam just breaks through the electricity in some bullshit way, and then he starts doing cool flip kicks, hitting Elgar down. At the soccer game, Stone Canyon has tied it up 3-3. Then Adam catches Electro Volt's bike, tossing him back. When the hell did Adam get superhuman strength? Then Electro Volt just grows giant. No torpedoes or anything, he just goes giant. He fires at the Rangers, but Blue Centurion has already went and got the Robo Racer coming back. He converts Robo Racer to battle mode, taking on Electro Volt. He keeps punching the monster and he uses his handcuff weapon again, but Electro Volt uses his beam through it to hurt Robo Racer. 
But then here comes the Turbo Megazord out of literally nowhere, immediately doing its spin-out attack while the Robo Racer fires, killing Electrovolt. Elgar retreats. At the game, the Rangers saw Tommy show up, and Adam gets back to cheering, and Justin's Turbo Navigator goes off. He says with all the yelling and cheerleader, he didn't hear it before. Great job, Justin. At Tony and Justin find the bomb's location, and Justin sticks his hand in the opening, trying to get the bomb. Imagine this is how Justin loses a goddamn arm. Carlos is getting ready to shoot the ball toward the goal, but then he remembers that teamwork crap from earlier from Adam, and he passes the ball to Barry. Steve Jobs watches eagerly, and Justin gets the bomb out, flipping the switch off just as Barry scores the fourth point. Justin, Tanya, and Kat hug while Angel Grove celebrates. The cheerleaders scream about how awesome Angel Grove is, and the monkeys are there as cheerleaders do now, just yelling and doing some reverse footage backflips. Carlos is thanked by Adam for playing a great game, and Ashley says it was pretty cool what he did, and she asks if Carlos will walk her home. He smiles and they join the celebration for Angel Grove's victory. Steve Talks is watching this from a cooler full of ice, so of course she's wearing a winter hoodie. She blames Elgar for their failure and she promises to never let that Millennium message come to pass. The end. This episode's weird because it's definitely not a Ranger focused episode. This is a Carlos episode. An episode about someone we don't even know at all. This is his introduction and yeah, it's obvious he and Ashley are going to be a pretty important part of this show later on. But it's still weird. With what's going on right now, it'll make a lot more sense when I explain some stuff in a few episodes, but until then, just trust that whoever is writing this show, this stuff made sense to them at this point. It just won't for whoever's going to write it after that show. It just won't make sense for the person who's going to write it after. It just won't make sense for the person who's going to write it later. So will next time continue to be entertaining? Until then, may the power protect you.